So I'm going to be working a lot from that second step. You can see I have some dumbbells there. They're like a medium weight and then some heavy kettlebells. You don't need kettlebells. I'm just using them for fun. You can use um, dumbbells instead. So they work the exact same way. Okay. All right, let's get going here. And you've done your warm up. So you're all warmed up. I'm warmed up. And we're going to start with leg extensions. Let me just keep an eye on that timer. Like I said, I'll keep, keep you informed on where we are. We're going to work for a minute per exercise. So the first one here is balancing on one leg, keeping your standing knee soft. And we're going to extend all on one leg. I have some heavy kettlebells in the arms here. Shoulders down and back. And tuck your chin here, lengthen up through the crown of your head. All right, let's shift over to the other side. Like extensions. So we're gonna do everything three times. So this first round, remember it's like practice. Okay, 10 more seconds there. You guys keep going on 10 more seconds. Two, one. And I'm gonna bring you down to the ground here. Okay, in a push up position, please. <laughs> On your hands and knees, I'm gonna show you this one from the hands and knees. Cross your ankles, find your push up position. Okay, you can either hold plank here or join me, inhale down, exhaling up. We're just gonna do five here inhale down, exhale up. Okay, not too deep. Three, two more like that, four. And now I'm gonna show you a little variation. Keep yourself right there. This is called a four corners tap. So I'm gonna take one hand to the heart, other hand to the heart. Then I'm gonna lift a knee and then the other knee. That was probably too big. Let me try one push up. Hand to the heart, you're gonna shift your weight, hand to the heart. Make it a little smaller this time. I went too big that first time. Little pulses, one push up, hand to the heart, hand to the heart, little knee, little knee, good. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna say, I do not recommend doing this on cement. I just, because of the situation and the rain and you being in the garage, um, it has to be that way for me. I'm taking one for the team. Make sure you're on a soft surface. Do not come, do not try this on cement. <laughs> it's craziness. Okay, we're gonna do a kettlebell row or a dumbbell row, either one. Take your time here, I'm pausing the timer. The second time through will be more efficient. So we'll know what's coming. And I needed to pause for that safety announcement. Okay, make sure your chair is firm. You're gonna put a knee and a hand down both on the same side of the body. On the other side, you're gonna hold, I have a kettlebell, but you can also hold a dumbbell and row. Okay, if you guys will keep moving there and we're gonna go for 30 seconds on each side. I hope you can hear all these beautiful birds tweeting away here. Okay, three more of these rows, really fighting gravity on the way down, pulling with a powerful pull on the way up, and then set it down onto the ground or onto your chair. Rotate over to the other side. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a swat, a mosquito swat. We're gonna do five sets of those later. Supported one-armed row here. Okay, let's do one more of these and then gently place it down onto the ground. Don't make sure that you protect your back every time you adjust with your weight. Okay, the next one I love, it's called, um, it's called a dumbbell burpee. And I'm gonna use this 
situation over here. Oftentimes, I show you guys things on the ch on a chair or on an elevated surface. Today, I'm going to use this area here. I'm going to come down onto this step, walk back, walk it in, and walk it up. Okay, down, back, walk it in, walk it up. Okay, keep going there. I'm going to show you another option here. Now with my feet all the way as close as I can to these weights, now I can drop them to the sides and take them up to the sky. I'm gonna practice that one more time because this is our practice round and bring the weights to the sides and up to the sky and back down. Okay, so one thing to really caution you on, I'm gonna give you a better angle on that next time, but you never, I never want you to be bending forward with your weights and like coming up from there. So when I say walk, walk, really walk your feet all the way in and then draw the weights, like you have to zip them up the sides of your body. Okay, from there, now have a seat on the chair and do a thruster squat. Make sure your chair is completely secure. It's not gonna slide on you. I'm gonna hold one or two weights here at the shoulders or the chest and stand up, squat down. Remember, if you're tall, that chair is a long way down. So you can use a higher surface or you can use the air like this, or you may not need the chair at all. Okay, last 20 seconds here. If you want, add the press up at the top. Okay, pressing up at the top. Three, two, one. Sorry about that. I needed to adjust that microphone. Otherwise it would drive you all crazy. Okay, from our chair once again, or you could use your elevated step over there. Nice and firm right here in a plank. Okay, first we're gonna hold our plank just nice and solid. And if you want to, you can add a little tap right here, tapping side to side. Remember that we have a full minute for these exercises. So that's why I'm not rushing, but I want you guys to take as much or as little rest as you need. So we have 30 seconds left in this plank. If you feel like you need to rest any part of your body, come on up, shaking it off. You can always jump back in. The tap out is the advanced option right here. Tap it out, 10 seconds. And as you tap your feet side to side, really feel the obliques right here firing. Okay, awesome. Okay, come on up, shake that off. We're gonna do a single leg deadlift. So I'm gonna move one weight out of the way. So I don't have anything to trip on. Okay, balancing on your front foot here. Let's dip, whoops, I've lost my balance already. Okay, lots of balance and core strength on this one. We're gonna drop down, stare at a focal point out in front of you, tucking your chin, lengthening through the crown of the head. The weather is getting nice, so I encourage you to take your workouts outside if you can. Take them out on a covered porch or an area like that. And other side now. Core nice and tight. Finding that focal point out in front of you to stare at, to maintain your balance. Very good. Okay, let's shake that off a few times there. Last one we're gonna do here.
Let's bring our feet together. We're going to just stand here with our own, just yourself. Heels together, toes apart. Let's lift up into a releve here. And take the arms out to the sides. We're going to work our shoulders, our calves, our balance. Okay, little mini knee bends right here. Nothing that's going to hurt. Definitely don't want you to feel any pain in your knees as you do this. You can hold on to a wall or your chair if you need help with your balance. I'm keeping my heels lifted from the ground. And now let's just balance and pause right here for a moment. Let's take the palms up. We're gonna raise the hands up, check to see if it's raining yet. You guys, the, the clouds are so gray. It's like, it is sprinkling a little. It was sprinkling earlier, so I waited and thought I had a window here. We're gonna see five more seconds here. Okay, a couple of raindrops. Actively recover here. Let's grab a sip of water. I'm gonna reset my timer. And if you need to clean up your area or anything, we're gonna restart everything and do it again. Okay, back to the beginning. And on this one, you can hold some heavy objects here, even if it's just something that you have around, some jugs or something. And you can do this standing. This is what I did on the first round. And this is our first exercise on the second round here. You can also do that exact same exercise seated. And the third option, I'm gonna start the timer, is to do lunges all on one leg here. One of those three options, one leg, you can even do a combo. You could do one lunge, one leg extension. That's fancy. Almost as fancy as these pants. Ooh, five seconds. Okay, let's switch sides here quickly without any rest. Turn around, other side. So lunge. Leg extensions, you can do this seated or standing or putting it together in your fancy pants. One lunge, one kick. Five seconds. Two, one, and rest. Okay, next up we're doing push ups. And in honor of St. Patty's Day here and before, okay, this one's a little bit of a stretch. You guys, it's hard to think of St. Patrick's Day themed um, exercises. So here's one of them, like the four corners of a four leaf clover. First, we're gonna do our push up, and then we're gonna do our four corners. One, two, little pulse lift, push up. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, 30 more seconds. I have a brand new push up tutorial in, in the content library. Check it out if you need some refreshers and you want to go back, even if you've been doing push ups for a while. Always good to just go back to some basics three and four. Okay, like I said, never do this on concrete. Um, the next one coming up, kettlebell row. So you're gonna get onto your chair or piece of furniture with your arm and your leg, both supported on the same side. You can use a dumbbell or you can use a kettlebell. We're gonna divide our minute, giving each arm 30 seconds. Keep that there, let me give you a closer view. Same arm, same leg. I mean, a closer view of the pants, that is. So <laughs> I love these pants, actually. A really good friend of mine gave me, 
gave me these pants. So, so they're lucky. They must be lucky. If your friend gives you a pair of pants like this, that is definitely lucky. One more time on this kettlebell row or dumbbell row. And the next one's called a, um, a dumbbell burpee. Okay, so you can use a stair, a step. Okay, full, full disclosure, I like forgot about the, my area isn't that great because of the, um, the, pet, the stones there. I can't step close enough to the step and I didn't consider that, but um, I think you definitely get the idea. Bringing your hands up a little bit higher like this makes it more beginner friendly. Keeping your core super tight throughout this express workout here today. Two and one, awesome. Okay, from there you can spin around. And if the height of the chair suits your body, you can squat up and down from the chair or a lot of people are experienced with their squats and then they don't need a chair and then they can just come up and down. So look at it, like up on your porch, if I were up on my porch there, I could use um, something, oops, like this. Oops, I'm completely out of the, the thing there. You guys are squatting, squat and press, squat and press, squat and press, squat and press. I wanna show you an option that I would use up here, for instance, 30 more seconds, take a rest if you need to, that minute can be really long, do what you can. Really encouraging outdoor um, exercise is all I'm saying here today. It's springtime. This tree I'm looking at has like so many buds on it. So beautiful. Two, one, and rest. Okay. All right. We're back into a plank here. And you, let's come onto our forearms this time. Of course, for any reason, if the other version feels better, go for it. We need a little tap outs here, tapping it side to side. We have a full minute. So if you need to drop down and stretch and then jump back in, please do so. We're 20 seconds into this. I'm gonna show you another scenario that I would use like this. Okay, right here, 30 seconds in. We got 30 seconds in, 30 to go. Do whatever you can do in your space, in your body. That tapping out is the very advanced. So take it to where you wanna be today. Hold the plank wherever you wanna hold it, three, two, one, plank is done. Great job. Let's take a full 30 seconds here to recover so that you can shake all that off and stretch. <clears throat> Next up, we're gonna do a single leg deadlift. Okay, last time I did well with my eight. So I'm gonna go up a little bit and wait, but you're gonna make that call. Balancing on one leg, find a focal point out in front of you and drop down into your single leg deadlift, nice tight core. That back leg, it doesn't have to lift that high. 
keep going there. We're gonna use 30 seconds for each leg, no rest in between. Get ready to switch legs here in five seconds. Okay, switch legs. really encourage you to use something, some kind of furniture, like I am here with the chair, so that you don't pull your pelvis out of alignment. It's just so easy to do. Whoops. And, um, and when, if you lose your balance a little bit like that, you can really get your back out of it, out of a, into a bad place. All right, let's actively, Recover for a little bit. Oh, I forgot one, I forgot one. That's okay, we can still move stuff around and then join me when you're ready here. Toes out wide, heels together, coming up into a releve, holding on to a piece of furniture if you need help with your balance. Arms out to the sides. This time we're gonna take our thumbs up. Okay, thumbs up, thumbs down, rotating back and forth. and pausing right here. Okay, opening up your palms here. We're gonna sweep the hands down and back up and down. I'm just lowering my heels down to the mat and back up. One more like that. Okay, kind of imagine like you're squeezing your inner thighs a little bit, really engage your glutes an extra amount here. And now a small knee bend, knee bend. Let's bring our hands to the front here. Big tree hug out in front. Keep it here. Okay, only if you really need a rest, you can take one. Otherwise, try and stay strong here with me. Five seconds. Okay, and let that go. Ah, my calves are definitely gonna feel that tomorrow. Okay, let's do that one more time. Just do a little time check here. Oh, we're doing well. Let's see, it looks, let's just try it one more time. We might go a little over 30 minutes, but, um, but that's okay. Do what you can, do what you have time for. So you have lunges, leg extensions, or seated leg extensions. And I'm gonna do the standing version. I'm gonna place some heavy objects in my hands. Carefully pick those up. Always lift with your legs here. It's one of the things we're working on. So might as well apply that as you're lifting and lowering. I, I really can't tell you how many times I've gotten careless, you know, just been in a hurry working with clients or whatever. And it's, it's when I'm bending over and picking up weights when I hurt my back. So fair warning. Three, two, one. And let that go, other side. Round three here. Ten more seconds, and then we're coming down for push ups. Five, four, three, two, let it go. Okay, I call this the four corners push up. And I'm gonna come down onto the mat on my knees. I'll meet you there. We have a whole minute right here. So <laughs> then I have to like tie my shoe, you know, do a few things before I start. Okay. <laughs> All right. Don't do this on concrete. <laughs> it does not feel good, I promise. One, two, three, four. One push up. 
that tap again make sure that whatever joint is left on the ground is okay with being left there on its own And I know it's spring because the mosquitoes are out for the first time in a while. Three, two, one. We made it. We're done with our push ups today. The third thing kettlebell row, dumbbell row. I'm going to use this chair, make sure that it's sturdy. Set yourself up one hand, one knee on the furniture, row it up. I'm gonna pause right here for a second, check in on how straight the wrist is right here. I see a very common mistake where people wanna like sort of force the wrist and turn it in weird ways. So we're not working the wrist, we're not working the forearm here, working the back muscles. I wanna spend a little extra time here, this set. It's our last one. So we're gonna work this for 45 seconds total. Five, four, three, two, one, let it go. Other side, let's get set up and begin. Same hand, same knee on the support. Gonna get a few bonus reps here on this round. Keeping that wrist very straight. Take your back of your elbow right up to the sky, right up to the ceiling. 10 more seconds. And when you complete your next one there, you can shake that off. Okay. All right, be um, elevated here if you'd like for your dumbbell burpee. I'm gonna use an elevation like this, but again, like if I were up on my deck, this would be a great place. was the intention but then with the rain <laughs> like I said with the rain I gotta keep you guys there in the in the garage I'm gonna reach this object up to the sky if that feels okay for you obviously make sure that the object isn't gonna roll from the chair whatever you have it on and I keep going I've said this before like I never want to talk to you guys like you're idiots it's just that I know that when you're exercising, like the brain, it can only do so much. And so these are safety reminders because I understand how your brain doesn't function as it normally does when you're exercising. Three, two, one. Nice. That one's hard. Okay. Then I'm going to spin around. If this is a height that suits you, do you want to use it for support for your squat? You can. I'm going to take some weight here at the chest. I'm going to hold it at the chest and then it's a thruster squat up to the sky. The chair isn't necessary. It's just an option. Here's what it looks like without. There's some of you out there who could use a good bit of weight. So if that feels like you could do that all day. Go ahead and add some weight to you, to your exercise. Add some more weight, I should say. Just about a 5% addition each time. Because there's always tomorrow and the next day.
So if it's like, if you're doing five and it feels easy, don't just grab 20 pound weights, right? Just remember that five, maybe 10%. If it's like really, really easy. All right, we are getting through this. Hey, while we're up here, let's do our single leg deadlift next. I'm gonna place one weight out of the way. Balance on one leg here. This leg is gonna kind of shave down the front of the thigh. I'm gonna let that back leg lift because I have something here to help me and catch me if I fall or even lose my balance. Really close to being done here. All right, let's switch it over to the other side. Three, two, one, excellent. Final thing is a plank. Okay, anywhere you wanna be here. For this one, I could use the step because those stones don't interfere. So a little bit of elevation here. This is gonna be harder than up on the chair. Another reason to come out on your patio or something. Oh my gosh, you won't believe it. It's starting to rain. This is amazing. This is so awesome. I, seriously, you guys, I've had the luckiest day and I just feel like this is the last little bit of luck here today. Keep it there, hold it there strong if you can. You have 24 seconds left. And remember that you're doing you here always. Feel free to back off and jump back in, especially when we have a full minute. That's one of the things I like about this workout. It really kind of gives us the time to, time to practice things. Eight seconds, five, four, three, two, one, let it go. Okay. I mean, I'm not even kidding. I, I feel like if I, I wish I could show you without ruining anything. Thanks for being here with me. And um, like I said, this is an express workout, 30 minutes, and it did not include the warm up or the cool down. Let's go, let's take a walk here and uh, I'll, I'll meet up with you down at the cul de sac. Have an awesome day, cool down, stretch, and uh, I'll see you next time. Have an awesome night or day.